What's going on everyone, it's Semp. Hope you're doing great and of course staying safe. Today we're going to be discussing WandaVision, which seems to be the show that everyone is the most excited for. And the other day I was actually thinking about where Vision's body went after Thanos killed him at the end of Infinity War. And then the news came out about how WandaVision will be loosely adopting the Vision Quest comic storyline. So we're going to be discussing that, as well as Sword's involvement in the show, and talking about the possibility that Sherry makes an appearance. But before we get started, if you like talking about Marvel, the MCU, comics, and everything in between, subscribe to the channel. I'm posting weekly videos, so go click that red sub button and share the page with a friend. I'm also still running that pop figure giveaway. To enter, all you gotta do is be subscribed and leave a like and comment. Other than that, let's get into the video. Let's go. Hey, Rooster Brothers, what happened to the Vision's body? That's a good question. Yeah, it is a very good question. Feels like a story for another time. Yeah. I think one of the biggest questions left from Infinity War is the fact that we have no idea where Vision's body went. When Thanos took the stone from him, he became colorless, and that was the last time we actually saw him. Many believe we could possibly see him in Endgame, but it turned out that he wasn't in the movie anywhere, so what we're presumed to think is that Vision is permanently dead. And while that is true, WandaVision is about to dive into the story and help us get an answer to this question. Now, just like you saw in that quick clip before, the Russos declined to answer the question and said that it may be a story for another time to tell. And according to the multiple sources, like from Charles Murphy and the Illuminati, the WandaVision show is going to be adopting the Vision Quest storyline loosely from one of the comic runs. And if you're not familiar with the Vision Quest storyline, Vision essentially goes missing from the compound and Wanda goes looking for him. Wanda comes to learn that he'd been taken by a multinational group called the Vigilance, and finds him totally deconstructed on a table, learning that all of his memories and data have been wiped. So essentially, he's pretty much left with no recollection of their life together previously. Burns Vision Quest run introduced the White Vision and produced one of the most iconic Marvel comic covers with issue 45. Now, Marvel's employee Sean Sendio, who often uses his Instagram to tease various elements of upcoming productions, he posted a picture of that cover last year, which could be a big hint. And we saw Vision turn white at the end of Infinity War when the stone was removed. There was also unused concept art of a white version of Vision and Wanda attempting to try and revive him, at least from what it looked like. So a lot of news already backs up this new leak. Now obviously this story is going to change considering how the MCU always adopts each story on screen in ways that it can fit the big screen and overall universe. And the last time we saw Vision, like I said, he was dead but fully intact. And like Bruce said in Infinity War, your mind is made up of a complex construct of overlays. Jarvis, Ultra, Tony, me, the stone. All of them mixed together. All of them learning from one another. You're saying vision isn't just the stone? I'm saying that if we take out the stone, there's still a whole lot of vision left, per perhaps the best parts. Can we do that? Not me, not here. So knowing this, Wanda could be searching for a way to bring him back to life. But in the end, she finds out that she can't and that's how she slowly starts to go insane with her chaos magic. Or maybe she does revive him, but he can't remember anything, and we'll be discussing this part later. So in the viewer's eyes, time in the show may not be chronological. I think that we might be getting both stories at the same time, a combination of showing the vision quest failing in the past, and then jumping back and forth to the present, which would then show the sitcom side in her alternate reality, knowing that she failed previously. This is where Sword and possibly even Sherry come into play. Sword may be helping Wanda put Vision back together, or at least trying to reboot his intact body, or they're actually responsible for taking him apart and studying him. In the comic storyline, his parts are scattered everywhere, so it's interesting to see if he is also, or he's just still intact and still dead. But like we saw in Infinity War, there is someone who knows how to work on him, and that's the bright mind of Shuri. Shuri was trying to remove the stone from his body because, like mentioned before, Bruce said that it's possible he can live without it and that Vision isn't just the stone. So do you see Wanda or Sora take a trip to Wakanda to ask for Shuri's help? It's probably unlikely for her to visit S.H.I.E.L.D. given what happened in Infinity War. And of course with Tony Stark dead, she's undoubtedly the smartest character in the MCU next to Banner. Plus, how do we even know that his body left from the spot in Wakanda that it died in? So there's so many questions that need to be answered. But when or if he's assembled, reassembled, or however you want to say it, or if he's brought back like mentioned before, it's likely he won't be the same vision he was, hence the storyline in the comics. And he will be missing data, including any knowledge of the events from Avengers Infinity War, and maybe not even remembering Wanda in general. 
This will likely lead to her pretending of a fake reality and life with him and jumping back from present to past like I mentioned before. In the West Coast Avengers comic storyline, Hank Pym explains that while he can recreate Vision's mind, the data is gone leaving Vision with a blank slate, a plain white canvas waiting to be filled in. But instead of Hank, Shuri may be the one who does complete this in the MCU. This whole Vision Quest storyline could go so many different ways, but that's also why this show has the potential to be the best. Curveballs will be thrown at us. We should also look at Sword as the new face of S.H.I.E.L.D. in the MCU. Of course, S.H.I.E.L.D. will still be present, but to what capacity really? As far as we know it, Talos is technically leading S.H.I.E.L.D., which was alluded to in the Far From Home post credit scene, with Fury in space on a S.W.O.R.D. facility. So along with Vision, S.W.O.R.D. may be the facility that is examining Wanda or keeping a close eye on her on Earth, because they sense power surges in her chaos magic ability. There were leaked photos of her on set, and a rumor that she was basically left on the streets following the events of Endgame. So S.W.O.R.D. may have taken her in, because they detected her chaos magic, so let me kind of explain this idea of the alternate realities because it's for sure going to be a crazy twist in some way. When the show starts, I think that Wanda is already going to be in her alternate reality. Her being able to snap back to the real world causing her confusion, as the viewer, we might see that failed Vision Quest storyline being told, which leads to her fallout. If Wanda is in a S.H.I.E.L.D. facility, the TV that we see in the trailer could be the trigger point. For example, let's just say she's in a cell or somewhere in the facility, they're running tests on her, whenever she turns it on she drifts into that fake reality using her chaos magic, so as the viewer you can tell clearly when the timeline is switching. And when we leave the TV, she's entering the main and regular world. Another good point to mention is the coloring of the trailer. In this shot, she is completely colored in, while everything around her including Vision is black and white. Looking at her outfit, this actually may be the first time that we see her on screen change from the real world to that fake reality. And over time, the color becomes full and complete, and by that time she can't tell the difference between reality and her fake reality because she's so lost in it which in the end will lead to the multiverse implosion and Doctor Strange 2. However they do it, I feel like they're going to leave us on a cliffhanger, which really sucks considering we have to wait probably about almost a year or over a year for Doctor Strange 2. But either way, I can't wait. Of course, as soon as new news comes out, I'll cover it. Drop a comment below on your thoughts. And if you're hyped for WandaVision, it's apparently still on track for December 2020. So a trailer has to be coming soon unless it gets delayed into 2021. I think that it's going to get moved to March, but we'll see. As always, you can find me on Twitter at AnotherMarvelG to keep up to date with all of my new content and announcements. All links to my socials are below, including where you can find the podcast. You can also find on my Twitter that me and my co-host just released a website. Of course, it has all things AMG, but it's also called Superhero Showdown. It's an analytical and database built simulation, so go check that out. You can find the link on my Twitter or SuperheroShowdown.com. And to help out the channel, if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe with the notification bells turned on so you don't miss any new videos. And stick around after the outro to check out all of my previous theory videos, including a Guardians 3 breakdown and also how the Fantastic Four can be introduced. But other than that, I just want to say thank you. Until next time, I'm another Marvel guy, and I'll catch y'all on a blip.